before I start out, let me just say to if any of you are just subscribed to me for Beyblade, um, sorry I haven't done a Beyblade video in a while. The next Beyblade I'm gonna get is Poison Serpent, so expect a video on that when I'm able to find that, so just be patient with me. Anyways, ah, Wave 5, guys. Wave 5. Spin Master just kind of just released Wave 4 and Wave 5 at the same time, just literally within days after Wave 4 came out, Wave 5 started showing up. Um, this series, it doesn't have a lot of good back on. The only ones I can really think of that are decent are Gren, Ramdahl, and then another one is Lachnoid. So those are probably the only ones I'll be getting out of Wave 5. Um, you can currently really, really only find them at Target. I guess they've been spawned at Toys R Us 2. I uh, haven't heard much on that, but... Yeah, this triad I got has Darkest Ramdahl, Pyrus Gren, and then I don't like this back gun at all, Chaos Damacor. But, Damacor, Damacor, whatever. But it came with these two, and these guys were definitely ones I needed. And I haven't gotten to Chaos in a while, so Damacor just... I, I got them, but I don't really want them. Uh, as you probably may have noticed, there's these two are super evolutions, or special evolutions, because there's a purple reference card back there, and more on that later, but let me try to hurry up this video, because I don't want it to be past the 15 minute mark, so. Alrighty, the cards. Um, rule book. Oh, what comes in triad. And here we go. First thing we see here is a gate card, silver gate card called About Face. Um, after this battle, reverse the direction of play, play, blah, 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 blah. So, um, kind of a neat card here. That looks like to be a Domicore, actually. I got him. I think that's a Domicore. And high, high boost of uh, 140 to Aqua. The next card is a gate called To Dance. What the heck? That's stupid. To Dance. What an interesting name for a card. Uh, it's the copper card. The player with the most gate cards in their use pile. They have all of any of the background not in this battle. Ooh, this can be very, very useful with these new background I got. Like, they're special evolutions. And, yeah, if I, if I win this card, I'll be able to evolve them. Yay. Copper. Or no, no, that's copper. The gold card, gold gear. Get the print for extra time. Nice. Call it's called Golden Lance. Hmm. That wait. That is a contest gear. Yeah. Looks pretty cool actually. With with his bow gear too. And the uh, well, all of them are reference cards. There's no ability cards. Um. Start with Damacor. High level of two. There's what it looks like. And. Anime form, so I guess this card was not damn core actually. So, evolves from any Avior or Line Hall under 700 G power. Yeah, I have an Avior that's like 600, I think, so I'll be able to um, use this guy in battle. Unique, all blue ability cards you play in battles where you have Jim Carrey move to your move pop at the end of the battle. So, nice reference card there. Ramdahl. This is probably my favorite wave 5 by far. Power level of 2. Evolves from any back metallics under 700 G power. I have Illumino under 700, so once again, I can use this guy in gameplay. While Ramdahl is standing or in your use pile, no other back gun may evolve. Pretty useful reference to this guy. And Gren. This guy is a beast. He's like a freaking walrus. It's amazing. Power level of 2, so all these reference cards have power level of 2. Falls from any Saboteur or Fangoid under 700G power. Too bad I don't have any of those. If your enemy has an evolved background, you may place your unused Gren on any gate card instead of rolling it. Okay, so that's all for the cards. Here we go with the Wave 5 Triad. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get Dancor out first. Save the best for last. So, Chaos Dancor. 
dumb or whatever. Like I said, I do not like him at all. He just, he doesn't work for me. His, man, his leg's really loose. Hmm. Okay, so, let's see what this guy's G power is. A whopping 1,120 Gs. You'll see a lot of these Wave 5 back have an insanely high uh, G powers. But they're all special evolution too, so you, get, you won't be able to just use them, like, at will, so. Um. Hey, Stomacore. Don't really care for him that much. Hey, symbol. Of course, look at him. DNA codes on his chest. So, yeah. This guy has, like, the biggest peg sticking out of him. It's like, it's gonna be, like, impossible to roll him. Look at all those. Just one on each side and two big ones sticking out in the front. So, let's see. Yeah. Not that good. Uh. He has two little back feet that come out. And that's pretty much it for him. I, he's not an impressive back gun at all. I don't know what he's supposed to resemble. Wait, actually, hmm, he has these things that pop out under his head. So, that's what looks like fully transformed. He's got a lot of, like, these scaly kind of spike designs all around him. Like you can see right there. It's very rough. Got a nice, good feel to it. And... He's got this red stripe on the front of his, like, nose. And you can see, barely see his eyes right there. For a second there, I thought he didn't have the eyes. So, he's got these two big feet in front. Big kind of feet flipper things. And this, I'm just going to see if this part comes out. It looks like it may. Hmm. I don't think it does, actually. Uh, Balgur mode, I don't think he does has any, like, things you need to do to get in Balgur mode. So, yeah, just go ahead and pop Balgur on there. To close him, put in his feet like this, and his front hands, then just push back the head, and fit the tail under, underneath it. Like that. That's how you close Domacore. And let's get on to the next dude. I think I'm gonna go with Gren first. I'm waiting to get this guy up forever. Ah, he looks really epic. And G Power. Let's see what that is. Alright, so Gren's G Power is 920. And I got the camera to work, so here's a uh, close up look at Pyrus Gren. And he's special evolution, and he's just really not worth the play in battle. There's way, way better, even pirate special evolutions to use. So, but this guy is just a m massive ball of epicness. He's a freaking walrus. That is amazing. He has these two awesome looking little, like, they look like bird feet, but they're supposed to be like part of his flippers up here. So, he's got this long walrus like um tail in the back and two huge task fangs coming out the front um his original attribute is aquas that for a fact uh, i saw one, an aquas one to try it but to me pirates looked better and also had the darkest randall which i wanted so like domacore for bow gear nothing you really need to do you can just go ahead and smack bow gear right on there Hmm. Pyre symbol is located on the side right there, and DA code in the front the chest. He's got a cool like little specks of of yellow going around in his red, and then one big yellow patch down here. It looks like a ribbon that's like encasing the DNA code. You can see that. And yeah, Grant is definitely. I would definitely recommend you get Gren, especially out of the Wave 5 series. Um, to close him, flip back in his hands, 
and I really do like the way he closes. It's just very simple and it's actually kind of fun. Push his head back, flip his tusks underneath like that, hold in the tail, and then these his uh, his two flippers just kind of clip right onto there. Very easy method, and very fun to do. Um, here's a popping action one more time. Yeah, Pyrus Grant, 920 G's. And, I saved the best for last. Darkest Ramdoll, yes! He resembles like a motorcycle. Um, he's got a huge head, you can see it right there. And, he looks just like a Transformer I have. But, at first I was not a fan of him, but he grew on me. He's just really epic. Woohoo! Unfortunately, his wheels do not roll, so you can't, like, room him around or whatever. And, let's see what this guy's G power is Darkest Ram Doll. Meh, 910 G is not that powerful, especially for Special Evolution, but, can't go wrong with the Ram Doll, you really can't. Uh, his DNA code is on the front, right here. I'm excited to see what these guys look like in Back Beyond Dimensions. So, yeah, here's a good close-up look of Darkest Randall. It's storming outside, so the lighting's not going to be very, very good, but you can still see it pretty well. Darkest Symbol is on his front wheel like that. It's really cool. Well, actually his back wheel, sorry. Fail, but this guy Ramdoll, you could you can see like with his horns up, and you can see like these are like for the motorcycle, these are the handles, and this is like the seat for a person to sit. So definitely you can tell that he's supposed to be like resembling a motorcycle or a bicycle. I don't know. So hmm, yeah, this guy has a massive head, two massive horns. You can, you can definitely see like the ram, he's the ram doll, you can definitely see the ram part, with, like horns and stuff. So yeah. He looks practically the same on both sides. And to close him, pretty fun. Push down the horns like that. Put in the head, and the seat. Then just whop, whop. Closing the wheels, fold them in. And that's what his ball form looks like. His eyes are peeking through there. Yeah, I'm very impressed with Randall. It's a very original idea by Spitmaster. They haven't done anything like this before. And I give him credit for that, so. Yeah, today's score was pretty good. I've been waiting to get Wave 5 for a while. My store's just been sucking lately, so finally they, they gave me something. Darkest Randall and Pyrus Grand.